How's it going everybody? Welcome back to your favorite aviation channel. Some of you may remember that about three years ago I made a video on how to create a 1400 scale custom model. That video was okay in my opinion, but I felt like I could have done better. As such, today I'm going to be presenting to you all an updated 2021 version of how I make my 1400 scale custom models, and hopefully this time we'll have better results than whatever the hell this was. Do keep in mind that this isn't meant to be a really good how-to video since some of the steps that I do will be really confusing, but hopefully you enjoy nonetheless. Longtime viewers of the channel know that I have two model airports from Pakistan, Karachi and Lahore. Finding one foreign scale models of Pakistani airlines is nearly impossible and therefore almost all the Pakistani models that I have were custom made by myself. In today's video, I'll be making two custom models of Pakistan's newest airline, Air Seal, on two Airbus A320s. The first things we'll need before even starting the decal making process are the actual models themselves. In order for the custom making process to be a little easier, we're going to look for models that have roughly the same paint scheme and engines as the airlines that we're planning to make, if that makes any sense. Air Seal has a majority white livery, so therefore the models we buy should be mostly white in color. Furthermore, Air Seal's A320s are fitted with IAE V2500 engines, unlike PIA and Airblue who have the CFM56. While searching eBay, I was able to find these two A320s for a decent price. As you can see, they are mostly white in color and both have the correct engines. Now that I've bought the models, all we need to do is wait for them to arrive. In the meantime, let's get to work on the decals. I use regular blank paper for my custom models as opposed to actual decal paper because I find that regular paper is really easy to use. For the Air Seal A320s, I'm planning to make my own window and door decals. So to get started, I'm going to search up Airbus A320 decal, and here's what pops up. This example of the Saudi A320 looks pretty good, and it's mostly white in color just like Air Seal, so I'm going to save this one. Secondly, we need to get the Air Seal logo, so I'll search up Air Seal logo and see what comes up. This one here is perfect because it shows the full logo and has a transparent background, so we'll save that. There's not much else to the Air Seal livery other than the tail and some details on the nose. In order to get the right photo for the tail, we're going to search up some photos of the Air Seal A320. Now we're going to scroll until we find a photo with a nice side view of the tail. Here's a good one taken by my good friend Shaji Hussain. As you can see, the tail is very much unobstructed, so we'll definitely be using this one. Now we're going to crop this photo down so we can just see the tail. I don't know about other computers, but on the MacBook, I use a software called Preview, and that comes built into the computer. I'm going to use my cutting tool and remove all the background so that just the tail is present. Now that I've done that, I'm going to get a random white background, so actually I'll just go to the Google homepage and get a screenshot of that, then crop it down, and then copy and paste the tail on here. Then I'll paste the tail again because obviously there's two sides to the tail and make both the same size. So now that I have that done, I'll just crop this even more to get rid of all the extra white space. So with the tail done, now we need to do the actual fuselage. I won't be needing all this extra Saudi Arabian stuff, so I'm going to delete all that. Also, these stripes won't be needed as well. Now I'm going to add the registration of the aircraft, and here's where I'm going to be experimenting with what font and font size looks similar to the actual plane. I ended up deciding that the Menlo font size at size 7 looks to be relatively similar, and so that's what I'll be using. I'm going to duplicate this file because since I'm making two ARCL A320s, I'm going to need two different files as the registrations will be different. So the first A320 will be registered as AP-BOA, the second one will be AP-BOB. I'm now checking the real aircraft photo to see where the registration should be placed. As you can see, it'll be underneath the last three windows of the aircraft. Now it's time to add the logo. The RCL logo that we saved has the star on it, but as you'll notice, the star isn't present on the actual plane. So we're going to remove that part, and once that's done, copy and paste the logo onto the window decal. Now we're going to need to see where the logo is located. In this case, on the left side, it pretty much goes from the second window down to the last window before the exit door. And it's basically the same on the other side as well. I'll just copy and paste these onto the second A320's file, and we are all done. Now there are some smaller details on the nose, which I already did, and I didn't show those in the video since I thought it would be a little repetitive. So while it seems like we have the decals made and finished, we still need to put them into a Google document. This is really the hardest part of the process since you don't know what size the decals should be. 
I can't really explain this part the best, but from my experience, I would recommend switching to 132% zoom because I feel this will get you the closest results. Then I would measure up the model and see what the dimensions are. For a 1.4-inch scale A320, it's about 2.5 inches from the first door to the last. So I would measure up 2.5 inches with the computer screen to see if it matches that. In general, I basically measure every part of the plane that I'm planning to make decals for and refer back to the computer screen to see if the sizes match. Hopefully that made sense because like I said, this is the hardest part for me. This whole process is really trial and error and that's what makes it so hard. I'm sure there are better methods out there, but this is how I do it. If anyone has any easier methods on getting the decals the correct size, please drop them in the comments below. Now that I have my decals made, I'm going to head over to the FedEx office to print them out because I don't have a color printer. Now that we got the decals printed, let's get the models opened up now that they've arrived. I ordered two Aero Classics A320 models, one Air New Zealand and one Air Callan. They're pretty random choices, but they had mostly white liveries and the correct engines, which is all I really needed. Unfortunately, the Air New Zealand has a grayish underbelly, which I never really realized until now. So maybe later on I'll have to paint that with none other than some good old white out. Now finally, to start the customization process, here's a list of what you'll need. Scissors, tape, a glue stick, q-tips or cotton swabs, and nail polish remover that you stole from your mom's bathroom. You also need some sort of hard surface to work on since this could get a little messy. I'm using this wooden cutting board that I made in woodshop class a few years ago. For the long time viewers, you might remember that this very same cutting board made an appearance in the last custom model video back in 2018, but that's besides the point. The first step in the customization process is to take pieces of tape and cover up whatever details you want to keep. In this case, I've covered up the door here since I'll be removing the registration. Be sure to press down hard on the tape so that it's firmly on the model. Since in the past, I've had experiences where I didn't secure the tape properly, the nail polish remover got into the tape, and stuff like this happened. Now that you have all your details that you want to keep taped up, take your q-tip and very lightly dip it into the nail polish remover. Don't fully submerge it as you don't want excess nail polish remover getting all over the model and ruining it. Then very lightly apply the q-tip with nail polish remover to the model and begin rubbing off the details. So now that I have everything that I want to remove removed, obviously it wasn't a lot, but who cares. Now let's get to applying the decals. You'll use the scissors, cut them out, and then use your glue stick to apply glue to the back of the decals. Then once you've done that, you'll stick those decals onto the model. Be sure to press down firmly so that they are properly stuck onto the model itself. And believe it or not, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, that is how I make my custom models. All right, so that concludes this 2021 edition of how I make my custom models. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If I need to clarify some things any further, please leave a comment as I think I was rushing through some parts uh, in this video. So please, if I need to explain anything more, then leave a comment so I can help you understand it better, I guess. Um, so yeah, here are the finished products in a bit closer up detail. Not the greatest. Uh, I thought they would be a bit better, but um, I think I did a pretty decent job on them nonetheless. Uh, on this one, actually, the left, or no, sorry, the right nose tire actually broke off. Uh, you won't be able to tell actually um, from the front here. Now you can tell. You can see it fell off and I can't find it anywhere. I don't even know how it broke off. I just never noticed until it was too late. So I can't find the tire. So I had to make my own tire out of cardstock paper. And from the side, it looks completely normal. You can't even tell it's fake. But from the front, yeah, you can definitely tell it's fake. But yeah. And then uh, another thing, sadly, the wing tip is also chipped off on the right side. Don't know how that happened, but it did. Uh, the engines look a bit rough as well. I'll try to repaint. This right one looks very rough, so I'm going to redo that soon. The left one doesn't look as bad. That one actually looks really nice. Um, so I'll redo the right one soon. And then here's the Air New Zealand one, which I did a much better job on, I think. The underbelly is still gray. I'm going to have to paint that at a later time. But yeah, whoops. Anyway. So that, those are the two models. Let me know what you think of them. Comments and everything uh, is appreciated. And these two now join my already pretty modest fleet of custom-made Pakistani airlines. So I have my four PIAs in the back here, the ATR-72 and the three Airbus 320s. Got my Serene Air 737, which was custom-made. I made this a few days ago. I remade it a few days ago. Um, and then the two Air Blue A320s, which I also remade a few days ago and then the two air seals and then i'm also planning on doing the serene a330 
uh, soon. I don't know when I'll do it, but I have the decals made and everything. So stay tuned for another for it to be making an appearance one day in an airport update for Karachi or Lahore. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed the video again. Leave a like if you enjoyed, um, and any comments and thoughts, please leave them in the in the in the comments. Obviously, where else would you leave them? And subscribe if you are new to the channel. Would appreciate that. Anyway. Hope you learned something, I guess. Hopefully, ho hopefully this video was helpful. And if it wasn't, then again, leave a comment so I can clarify some things for you all. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.